Hi and welcome to undervaluedshares.com. My name is Sven Lorenz. I am the man behind this website. And in this video, I would like to give you an introduction, how I work and what my background is and why this website is providing you with information that you are guaranteed not to find anywhere else. So very briefly about my background, I started investing when I was 14 or 15. I have been focused on equities ever since. I've also been writing about investment just as long basically. I started working as a freelance journalist when I was still in high school and writing is my big passion. I Every morning I, I, I jump out of bed with excitement because I have reserved the first couple of hours of the day usually for writing and I feel energized putting content in front of my readership and then also hearing back what they think. Fundamentally, I'm a value investor at heart, but I also stray into growth stocks occasionally and I sometimes indulge in the weird and wonderful and the exotic to keep the reporting of this website a bit more interesting and to add the occasional bit of uh, a dash of color to my reporting. I'm very global in my outlook. Admittedly, I have a bit of a bias for Europe and the United States, but you will find stocks from anywhere in the world featured on this website. And I'm more and more starting to become more familiar with Asia as well. So there will be a stronger Asian presence of investment ideas. That's all set within something that I like to describe as a research service. I, I would like to think this is not really a tipping service in the conventional sense. I describe my readers as the thinking man, people who like to form their own opinion by reading voraciously and broadening their horizon by reading in unconventional information sources as well outside of the mainstream media. And I would really like to take my readers on a journey to lesser known ideas and uh, contextual information that you will probably struggle to find elsewhere. We have a lot to work with. There are 100,000 publicly listed companies around the world. 25,000 of them in Europe, 25,000 in the United States, the other 50,000 spread out around the world. So we're not going to run out of interesting companies to look at anytime soon. And I have been doing this work of sifting through large numbers of potentially interesting companies for a very long time. I first launched this website in the early 2000s. Uh, this was in the time before we even had iPhones. But nevertheless, some of my content even back then went viral around the world. And that was also before the word viral was really used in, in the context of, of content traveling around the world. I took a pause from writing from 2010 to 2018 when I was CEO of a number of organizations. But I relaunched the website in December 2018 with the same brand name, the same domain name, which I'm very happy to own because it describes perfectly what I'm doing. But I've also revised and expanded the concept of the website slightly. So something that I introduced when I relaunched it is the free weekly article it comes out every Friday. I call it the weekly dispatch. It deals with a specific investment idea or with aspects relating to investment strategy or anything that I just happen to find um, interesting at that time could be something very topical tying in with the news of the week as well. And you find these articles for free on my website every week. The most exciting part of my website are my research reports and the members of my website receive access to 10 reports every year that represent the 10 best ideas that I come up with every single year. These reports are quite extensive. They are 20 to 100 pages in length and we have an entire archive of them by now. So if you become a member of this website, which is only $49 a year, not per month, but per year, then you get access to all the new reports that are coming out over the next 12 months, the updates that I'm sending out about past reports and the entire archive of everything I've published so far. So there's a lot for you to look at. And I like to think that this is probably, well, friends and, and competitors often tell me it is underpriced by a factor of 10 to 20, but I just like to enable everyone, wherever they live in the world, no matter what age group or portfolio size, to be able to easily afford my website and enjoy it. There's an additional service which you could also check out if you want even more research. I have the so-called lifetime membership, which I'll mention very briefly. Uh, that involves an additional couple of reports every year, mostly about small cap stocks. The lifetime members have to pay a one-off 
amount of $999. And for that, you get to read all the content that I produce for the rest of my life. And hopefully I'll be in the saddle, in the saddle for a couple more decades. No intention to retire. Um, and as I said, there'll be a couple additional reports coming with a lifetime membership. So that might be something you want to look at, maybe at a later stage or maybe right away. Two very, very concrete examples of reports that I've published are blockbuster reports. I'll give you two examples of which one is from uh, quite some time ago and the other one from very recently. So you can also see the consistency of what I'm doing and the, the decades of, of experience that are going into it. So back in 2004, I discovered a company that up to this point, no one had on their radar, but it's become very famous in the meantime. Uh, the company was listed on the Paris Stock Exchange, so the stock was easy to buy and sell, but no analyst had looked at it. And the company owned the most valuable real estate in Monaco, in Monte Carlo, the gambling destination and tax haven, famous for being the home of the rich and famous. The company had no debt, it had a lot of cash, and the stock price didn't even really cover the, the, the cash reserves of the company even. So you got all the real estate of the company effectively for free and the stock has since then started to catch up with its much higher underlying intrinsic value the the net asset value the stock is up by a factor of four property prices in monaco still keep rising the rich get richer and property in monaco is the most expensive in the world officially and it just keeps getting more valuable and this has been a low risk investment in real estate without having to look after tenants or without even ha having to travel anywhere and it's been the kind of investment that i love to dig out on behalf of my readers in the meantime mainstream media has written about this company again there was very much a ripple effect after my my report the company has become much better known and that has helped the stock price as well there's actually been so much demand from my readers to to hear again about this particular company that I published a revised and updated version of this report from 2004. You can actually download the 2019 version for free. There's a link under the video. Um, it's a good example for you that will help you to get to know how I work and what sort of research I provide on this website. And it'll also teach you a bit about a very fascinating place. Monaco is unlike any other place in the world. And of course, by learning about this company, you also learn about what else is going on in this world? The second report I wanted to point out to you, and there's an, another free one um, available with a link under the website, is that that was about a very controversial country and a very controversial company. Uh, it's located in Russia and it's Gazprom. It's the energy company, which is state controlled. So that's Putin's favorite energy company. And I published an in-depth report about it in December 2018 when I relaunched the website. The report was, well, let's put it this way. The company was seen as boring by most people and possibly even as, as, as toxic by quite a few observers because of the involvement of the Russian government. But my investment thesis was very contrarian and predicted quite specifically that Gazprom was about to announce a major change in its dividend policy. And four months later, the government and the company itself confirmed that indeed they had planned to completely revamp the dividend policy. And the stock is up 150%. And more importantly, those of my readers who bought it when I first featured it now have an investment in their portfolio that is throwing off an incredible dividend yield of 25% each year going forward. So we basically secured an income generating asset for us at an incredibly low price. The capital value of it is up. The income is now starting to come in as predicted. So this has been an extraordinarily good investment and without having to go into small and mid caps. Gazprom, when I first featured it, was a $50 billion company, very liquid, listed on the New York Stock Exchange. You can trade it in Frankfurt, in, 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 in London as well. Very easy to buy and sell. And we nevertheless had an information edge. We were ahead of the crowd. I like to do a little bit of investigative research as well, investigative journalism. And again, that gives you a bit of an idea of what I do. And you will find this report as well in the free links under the, under the video. If all of this sounds like it's something that is of interest to you, then also keep in mind there's a very active community that comes with this website. 
I've now got paying readers, members in over 80 countries around the world. And I like meeting them. I also have found that my readers are very much like-minded individuals. And that's why I organize events and trips. The last one was a trip to Poland in September 2020. The pandemic was already in full swing, but we managed to put a trip together regardless. I expected maybe six people and we were 33 people in the end. A lot of new friendships resulted out of that trip, a lot of new business relationships, and we learned about interesting investments. So this was a winner in, in every single way, despite the difficult circumstances. And I've put on similar trips in the past for going to Monaco, to London, Zurich. Um, I had an event in the little island where I live, the island of Sark, and also in the Galapagos Islands where I used to live and i will definitely be organizing more of them in the future so you can see there's a, a lot going on and that's before i've even mentioned the new books the trilogy of books that i'm going to launch about which you can also find a link in the uh, on the website with more information there's a lot of it that you can check out for free now that you know a bit more about myself and my track record and what makes me get up in the morning and why i like doing what i'm doing you can also download an ebook that I've written about other investment blogs. So I actively point my readers also towards other independent analysts and independent writers and bloggers. That's something I also recommend you take a look at. There's a third report. That's the last freebie I, I shall mention now, which is an investment research report about Fiverr, the American Israeli company that operates a online platform for freelancers. I feature that just as the pandemic broke out and with work from home as a new trend, that company took off literally. Uh, in the following 12 months, the stock went up by a factor of almost 10. So here's an example of something where I was very topical and just latched on to current events to try and make some money of it. You can sign up right away for the membership. As I said, that's $49, gives you the 10 research reports, or you can just get to know me a bit better by looking at the weekly dispatches for a while. I would like to think that I will soon be having readers in even more than these 80 countries that I already have readers in and I very much welcome correspondence with readers. I, crazily enough, I answer to emails personally um, to every single one, at least so far I can still cope. And I love hearing from readers with suggestions for what I can improve, what they would like to read about, what they're interested in. So, you know, never hesitate to drop me a line and to come on this journey that I'm on. I see myself as a, I'm on a lifelong journey of learning about investing, learning about the world, trying to find interesting investments that make money and where I have an interesting or an attractive risk reward ratio. And I would welcome it if you became part of this community. And I hope that you've enjoyed this video. Thank you very much for your time. Mm -hmm.